Okay, this is the MESR 100 V2 capacitor meter, and I got it on eBay for $44. Comes with the meter, it's got a little stand on the back, it comes with little banana plug, alligator clips, an instruction manual. Uses two double A's and it does work with rechargeable batteries. These alligator clips can be kind of hard to use when testing in circuit. So I used uh, little probes from my multimeter and they work fine. It's a banana plug. And this thing is used to test capacitors, which are these round things. And I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on electronics repair. And one of the main things that fails are these capacitors. And this allows you to test them. Okay, the first cap I'm going to test is this one right here. It's 25 volts, 100 microfarads. And I just follow the cap underneath the circuit board. And these are the two contact points. Okay, it reads 0 0.15. And on the chart, 25 volts, 100 microfarad, should be no higher than 0 0.32. So this is a good cap. This used to be an LED bulb, and it worked for a few years, and then one day it just went out, totally died. So I took it apart, I cut the little plastic bulb thing off, and I looked inside and I couldn't see anything wrong with it but now I'm going to test these capacitors before testing the capacitors they say you should short them out like discharge them and you can do it by touching a screwdriver across the little prongs on the back or like a little pair of needle nose pliers the first capacitor I'm going to test is right here. It's 10 volt, 470 microfarad. And according to the chart, this should read no higher than 0.24. This is 0 0.10, so this capacitor looks to be okay. Now I'm going to test this one. This is 16 volts, 47 microfarads. Okay, it's reading 5.9, and according to the chart, it should read no higher than 1.6. So it looks like this cap is bad. So I just kind of like pull on the cap. And desolder it, and it comes out. Now I'm going to retest the cap, now that it's out of circuit. And this is the replacement cap that I'm going to put in there. I like salvaged it from an old piece of electronics. I installed the little alligator clips. I'm going to zero out the meter. Okay, now this cap is reading 9.1. This is definitely a bad cap. Here's the cap I'm going to replace it with. It reads 0.51, so this is a good cap. Now I'm going to solder the new cap in. This little stripe goes onto the side, the white side. You match the stripe up with the white part. Okay, I soldered the new cap in. I'm going to test it out. Hey, <laughs> it worked. It's fixed. One little tiny capacitor and it fixed the light. And this cap had like no signs of failure. Sometimes they leak out of the bottom a little bit. Sometimes the top kind of swells up. So the idea is this meter will help me fix stuff. I've had a bunch of electronics fail lately and if hopefully it's just something as simple as changing a few capacitors and I'll get more service life out of my stuff.
Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.